There are quite a lot of challenges that we still need to deal with. I don't think we expected these things to be solved within 19 years. Mm. Uh, we have a long history. And I think there are certain strides that we've made. And certainly there are a lot of challenges. We haven't done as much as we should have. Some of these things are things that we can do, uh, but for some reasons are impeded from doing them. Most importantly though, um, I think we need to balance how we understand freedom. There is a need for redress, social justice. We need to recognize that black people were disadvantaged deliberately, uh, did not go to school, went to uh, poor schools, uh, were denied education. And obviously, when freedom happens, they will not be able to take advantage of all the opportunities presented by freedom. So in as much as freedom provides space for one to be what one can be for self-affirmation, self-fulfillment, at the same time, you need to create an enabling environment. Uh, education, uh, free education, especially for black people, because mm -hmm. their parents did not have any savings. They didn't have assets. They're black people who worked in the mines mm -hmm. for 20 years, 25 years as migrant workers without any pension at the end of it. And they were thrown away to rural areas where they died because of diseases that they, uh, they had at, at the mines. So there's certainly a case for redress enabling environment so that we are able to compete effectively. On the other hand, we need to understand freedom as a space that, that allows us to be what we can be and not have this lean more towards the expectation of a reward. We are surrendering uh, to the state that the state owes us certain things. Yes, it does, to the extent that we, we, there is a need for redress. To some extent, though, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we need to understand that this is a space for us to use uh, as we can, to, to take self-initiatives. We need to balance the expectation there of redress and, and self-actualization. Well, the doctor here was saying that we, we are not starting at the same pace uh, as equal partners in that democratic space, in that freedom space, and blacks were disadvantaged as a result of the repression and apartheid laws. And obviously the affirmation elements ought to have been affected and then we have been affecting some of them and that is why the state has been involved in the delivery of certain services towards uh, those people who are disadvantaged as a result of apartheid and in assessing obviously all South Africans ought to reflect and say 1994 and now what have been the strides that we have made and then and indeed acknowledge appreciate and then talk about them mm. and to say here yeah, we've done well and then what are the remaining challenges that are still there? And then, then talk about them, critique them, and then say what could have been done better. And I think we have got a listening government, we have got a listening uh, society, so that we could then together then say what is it that ought to be done better, so, so that we could then continue in that journey of uh, in the fulfillment of mm -hmm. ensuring that freedom indeed means something that uh, benefits me as an individual, as a South African, I can proudly say I've got my freedom. But there are, th there are certain things that currently are uniting us, and I think we should not just throw them into the, into the bin. The constitution of the country is still the best uh, document that everybody subscribes and still loves. It's the best constitution mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And then, then we've got a country, which is a very beautiful country, landscapes, mountains, valleys, and in all its biodiversities, the, the rhino that mm -hmm. uh, we, we, it's unfortunately been killed in the, in the number that it, it is, mm -hmm. heritage sites that are historic, where human life began, sure. the cradle of humankind. Mm -hmm. So we've got a very beautiful country. That's uh, the, the second element that you know. Thirdly is the flag. Uh, obviously, the education around the flag has not been as intense uh, in the schools particularly yeah. when we have to say what are six colors what they mean 